We got four earphones, the Powerbeats 4, Powerbeats Pro, Beats Studio Buds, and the third generation AirPods. Here's why I think you should go for the Powerbeats 4. We'll first be comparing the price of these four earphones, then we'll be comparing the Powerbeats 4 to the Powerbeats Pro, and then we'll compare the Powerbeats 4 to the Beats Studio Buds and third generation AirPods. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna just move over so you can see the price list. So as you can see, the Powerbeats 4 are $120 on Amazon. Um, the Powerbeats Pro are $249 on Apple's website. The Beats Studio Buds are $149 on Apple's website. And the third generation AirPods are $179 on Apple's website. So the Powerbeats 4 are the cheapest of them all. Okay, Powerbeats 4 versus Powerbeats Pro. I'm just gonna start this off by saying that these two earphones are incredibly similar despite the $100 price gap. I'm talking exactly the same sound, exactly, pretty much the same um, earbud design, the same ear tips, the same processor, the same features like hands-free Siri, headphone accommodations, um, announce notifications, the works. So if there's so many similarities, then what's the difference between these two earphones? Well, I'm gonna tell you that and also why those differences may not actually be disadvantages. So the first thing is this wire that you can see over here. And while the Powerbeats 4 are technically wireless earbuds, they're not truly wireless earbuds like the Powerbeats Pro because they still have one wire connecting the two earbuds together. So the reasons that this wire is actually good are number one, the two earbuds are connected together. Um, number two, the risk of the earbuds falling off is reduced. Number three, when you want to stop listening to something on the earbuds, you can just take them off and hang them down on your neck. Number four, you don't have to worry about bringing, forgetting, or losing a charging case. Um, and number five, this is pretty much the most important, battery life. So the Powerbeats Pro have nine hours of battery life, but these Powerbeats 4 have 15 because of this wire. So I mean, if the Powerbeats Pro only have nine hours, that doesn't really seem pro to me. And pretty much the only difference is that on the Powerbeats 4, the media controls are only on the right earbud, whereas with the Powerbeats Pro, the media controls are on both earbuds. Now, a lot of different tech websites say, oh my god, this is so horrible, it's gonna destroy people's lives. No, it is not. You gotta think, 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 think. Okay, let me put it this way. If your left hand is full and you wanna control your media, you take your right hand, go over to your right earbud, and you control your media. Okay, now what if your right hand is full? Well, you take your left hand, you go over to the right earbud, and you control your media. Now what if both your hands are full? Well, you can't control anything on any earbud, whether you have the Powerbeats 4 or the Powerbeats Pro, but both earphones have hands-free Siri. And the reason why the media controls aren't on both earbuds on the Powerbeats 4 is because the left earbud houses your power button, your blinking LED, and your lightning port. So based on that, you might now be able to see how the Powerbeats Pro probably aren't such a good deal. Okay, Powerbeats 4 versus Beats Studio Buds and AirPods 3. So what do the Beats Studio Buds have that the Powerbeats 4 don't? Active noise cancellation. What do the AirPods 3 have that the Powerbeats 4 don't? Spatial audio with dynamic head tracking. And that's it. So while the Beats Studio Buds do have active noise cancellation, they don't have a secure fit mechanism. The outer portion of the earbud is so small that you can barely control any media and the battery life is honestly crap. Five hours of active noise cancellation on, eight hours of active noise cancellation off. That doesn't come close to the Powerbeats or even the Powerbeats Pro. And for the AirPods, spatial audio with dynamic head tracking is cool, but when listening to music, it's just awful. And the battery life also deteriorates because of it. So yeah, I guess that wraps up this video on why you should go for the Powerbeats 4 over the Powerbeats Pro, Beats Studio Buds, and third generation AirPods. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, wash your hands, take a shower, do whatever you need to do. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye! No noise.
canceling. Siri, headphone accommodations, um, announce notifications, the works. You'll need to unlock your iPad first. Siri, please, I'm begging you, shut up. 